I think it's really important that when you talk about loyalty, you need to debunk straight away the fact that loyalty is not a person, it's not a program. You hear about loyalty programs. It's not an initiative. When I talk about loyalty, I talk about something that is holistic. It is within and amongst the entire value chain of the organisation. You have to give to get. We love stickiness. I'm sure you all love stickiness. You want Once you've um, invested in getting a customer on board, you want, to, want them to hang around. Loyal uh, customers give us greater cross-buy. And something else, and when I'm talking in the context of commercialising loyalty, um, and I don't want to be crude as a banker, but reduced price sensitivity. You don't always have to be on that slippery slope of being the cheapest in the market. It does start with the strategy. You have to be absolutely um, laser focused about what your strategy is in your organisation because your loyalty mix will be profoundly shaped by what your strategy um, is. You have to really know who your silver bullet customers are. We have to keep getting new customers and we have to continuously ensure we're attractive to new customers but not at the expense of existing customers. All customers, when they get engaged with uh, an organisation, um, any organisation, do so um, on the basis of rational and emotional attributes. How well do we, we know that customer in terms of the touch point of their journey with us? So these are moments of truth. Not all customers are equal. Not everything they do with you is equal. You can't be all things to all customers. If you get this wrong, you will have massive uh, sways in customer sentiment. We went from product centricity to customer centricity. So what this does to us is that this is a filter we put over all of our energies and our investment in the organisation. The other end of the spectrum is, is if something goes wrong in the organisation, so if there's any issue with uh, using your mobile for transactions, the whole organisation comes to a stop to fix it. Strategy, customer cohort, uh, product offering. Next, of course, is communication. If you have the raw ingredients to create loyalty from your customer and you're giving it back in the form of, in, in form of um, attractive financial benefits, how do we sustain that loyalty? We do it reactively, proactively and repetitively. We're telling our customers in our communication that these are the levers that garner loyalty. There is a tipping point in marketing where advocacy becomes viral. Underneath the digital assets I mentioned, we have the analytical machine. Every customer um, and their interaction with us is being considered for what I call intelligent, relevant and respectful targeting. Now we have uh, the ability to do it real time. Advertising, particularly in financial services, has traditionally been what I call a push play. We've really seen some benefits in uh, rather than push, pulling information from the customer base. But we use, of course, the more negative sentiments to reshape our proposition. Friction doesn't matter how wonderful your experience uh, is. Everything has to be easy. We're trying to eliminate process where we can. The glue or the cement that holds all of this together is having the right organisational culture. Everyone has to have a, a customer centricity, advocacy, satisfaction, whatever you want to call it, but most importantly the CEO. Be aware what is best practice in customer experience across the universe and try to meet it in your, in your, own, um, in your own industry. Thank you.